Progressive web apps are now supported on Windows. The Credential Management API adds support for public key credentials, and you can now name workers. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 70. Users can now install desktop progressive web apps on Windows. Once installed, they're launched from the Start menu and run like all other installed apps, without an address bar or tabs. Service workers ensure that they're fast and reliable. The app window experience makes them feel like any other installed app. Getting started isn't any different than what you're already doing today. All of the work that you've already done for your existing progressive web app still applies. If your app meets the standard PWA criteria, Chrome will fire the before install prompt event. Save the event, then add some UI like an install app button to your app to tell the user that your app can be installed. Then, when the user clicks the button, call prompt on the saved event. Chrome will then show the prompt to the user. If they click add, Chrome will add your PWA to their start menu and desktop. We're currently working on Mac and Linux support, so check out my post on desktop PWAs linked in the description for complete details. The Credential Management API makes sign-in super simple for users. It allows your site to interact with the browser's credential manager or federated account services like Google or Facebook to sign in. Chrome 70 adds a third type of credential, public key credential, which allows web apps to create and use strong, cryptographically attested, and application scope credentials to strongly authenticate users. I'm pretty excited about it because it allows sites to use my fingerprint for two-factor authentication, but it also adds support for additional types of security keys and better security on the web. Check out the web auth docs linked in the description for more details and how you can get started. Workers are an easy way to move JavaScript off the main thread and into the background. This is critical to keeping your site interactive because it means that the main thread won't lock up when it's running expensive or complex JavaScript computations. In Chrome 70, workers now have a name attribute which is specified by an optional argument on the constructor. This lets you distinguish dedicated workers by name when you have multiple workers with the same URL. You can also print the name in the DevTools console, making it much easier to know which worker you're debugging. Naming workers is already available in Firefox, Edge, and Safari. These are just a few of the changes in Chrome 70 for developers. Of course, there's plenty more. Web Bluetooth is now available in Windows 10 and allows your site to communicate with nearby user-selected Bluetooth devices in a secure and privacy-preserving way. Chrome can now send intervention and deprecation messages to your servers using the Report to HTTP Response header or surface them in the Reporting Observer interface. And there are a number of important deprecations that you should know about. Check the deprecations post for more details. All the details, including docs and specs, are in the updates post linked from the description. Be sure to check out the latest new in Chrome DevTools video to learn what's new in DevTools. Then click the subscribe button and you'll get an email notification whenever we launch a new video. I'm Pete LePage and as soon as Chrome 71 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.